Tracy. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, or welcome back if you have. And I thank you very much for watching my videos. I love to upcycle clothes and make fun, edgy pieces out of thrifted items. And today we're working on a band t-shirt dress. Now, I didn't get this t-shirt from the thrift store. I got it from eBay, but I've gotten them from flea markets and even Walmart has them in the men's section, very inexpensive. They have a lot of graphic tees and some band tees. So it's just two t-shirts put together and some bleach and some creative cutting. Let's get started. This is the shirt I'm starting with, this ACDC band t-shirt. It's 100% cotton and I'm trying to use only cotton t-shirts for this dress because they will bleach a lot easier. And the first thing I will do is cut off the sleeves. There are, you can't see it because black is really hard to see, but there are seams right here connecting the sleeves. And so I just lined up the one in front and the one in back. And I am going to cut on the outside of the seam. If I cut into the seam, into the t-shirt here, it starts getting kind of weird around the armholes and doesn't hold its shape. So I'm just cutting inside that seam. And I'll do that on both sides. After I cut the sleeves off, now I'm going to cut a chunk out of the top of the t-shirt so that it's off one shoulder and then has sort of a little choker around the neck. And so this you won't have to mark, but I did so that you could see it. I'm just basically cutting barely outside of that neckline. Now over here, I went three finger widths and made a mark and I just made dashes over halfway, probably not quite a third of the way down or maybe a little over a third, basically off center right there. And so I just freehanded that and now I'm going to take my scissors and I have this lined up good and nice and flat and no wrinkles. I'm going to cut around that neckline to here. Now I'm going to go back and cut that other dashed line. And there we have the chunk cut out. Okay, so now I just want to make a few more cuts just for fun. And on the side of the t-shirt where we cut that sort of half moon out of, I'm going to make three lines to cut. And I probably wouldn't even be drawing them if I wasn't showing you, but I want you to be able to see. So real close to the seam up here, I'm going to make a line. This will be a cut line. It's about two inches long. And then about half an inch below that, I'm going to make another two inch line and then another half inch below that, I'll make another two inch line. And I will just cut along those lines. And then now on the opposite side, more, um, I want it to be above the chest, but it will be probably four inches down from that top seam. Yeah, three or four inches down. And I'm going to do the same thing about right there. I'm going to make three lines about two inches long, about half an inch apart. And I will just pull my t-shirt apart and I'll just snip those. Then, when I get those snipped, I'll give it a good stretch, and that gives you sort of uh, thin little lines. And then I'll do the same on this side. So now that we have this cutting finished, I'm going to set this t-shirt aside, and I have this t-shirt. It's 
black with the graphics, 100% um, cotton, and it's a size small. And I'm going to use this for the skirt. And the graphics on here are stars and stripes. And I want a little bit of both. So I am just going to cut across right underneath the armpits. I'm not going to measure or anything. And then what I'll do is I'm going to try this on inside out and see and pin and see where I want it. I want it very fitted, fitted around my legs and my butt basically. So I'm going to try it on and I'll pin anything on the sides that I need to take in. Okay, so I tried my skirt on and I want mine fitted. So I needed to come in three and a half inches on each side. And this is the bottom. It already has a hem from the t-shirt. I'm just going to leave that, save me some work. And what I want to do is taper it down because I liked how wide it was at the bottom. So I don't want to lose anything down here. So I'll just sew my three and a half inches. These pins show where my stitch line will be. I'll just taper it into the side and I'll use a black thread, a fairly small stitch, and I'll go over it twice. Since it's fitted, I don't want to take a chance that it'll split open. So that'll just give it extra durability. Now I have my side sewn. I'm just going to trim off that extra that we don't need. And then we want, I'm going to turn it inside out and see how it looks. Very cute. And now I want to add it to the bottom of the band t-shirt. In order to attach the skirt to the t-shirt, I turned this inside out again. And I have the bottom facing the t-shirt right now. And if your t-shirt has side seams, that's really good. Mine doesn't. So I am just going to mark with a pen where that side seam is. That's going to help me when I put the pieces together here. So I'm just gonna mark this side with a pen. Okay. And so I want right sides together. So I'm going to open up the bottom of the skirt and I am just going to slide it over the t-shirt. Okay. And now what I need to do is line up the sides first because we're going to have some pleating in here because the skirt is smaller and that's intentional because I want the t-shirt to sort of blouse over the skirt a little bit. So what I need to do is find the seam on my skirt. I know this is really hard for you to see. And the side seam of the t-shirt or here where I marked with the pin. And I'm just going to line that up and pin it. Then I'm going to go on the opposite side and find the other side seam of the skirt, line it up with what would be the side seam of the t-shirt, in this case, just my pin. Okay, now I know the sides are lined up. And the t-shirt, you're just going to have to play with this. Go in and find the front of your t-shirt and what seems like would be the center of it and line it up with the center of your skirt and pin it. I should bring my pins closer. <laughs> and then I'll go to the next section. I'll try to find the center, line up with the next section. You know, you just need to play with it. You want to, I will have a lot of pins in this because I want it to be kind of pleated evenly around. I'll come here 
Now find what would be the center between these two pins in the center of the skirt and pin it. And I'll just keep going around like that until I have it completely pinned. Okay, so now I have the skirt completely pinned to the t-shirt. I have a lot of pins in there. And the inside where the t-shirt is, you'll see, I don't know if you can see all those little, it'll all be buckled up inside like little pleats. And I'll just sew over that. What I need to do is slide this into my machine and I'll start anywhere, it doesn't matter. I'll use a quarter inch seam allowance and black thread and go around it twice. Okay, it's all sewn. Just have to pull this down and time to do some bleaching. Okay, so I'm in my bathroom. I have my dress in the tub and I will be bleaching it with pure concentrated bleach that I poured into this bowl. And that can be a bit controversial. Some people say don't use pure bleach, you need to dilute it. Well, I've been doing this for a really long time and I feel like if you use pure bleach on 100% cotton, it bleaches really fast. And as long as you rinse it right away before you wash it, I've never had a problem with it. You know, people will say, oh, it'll eat holes in your clothes. Yeah, maybe, but I haven't had that issue because I rinse it very quickly after I see the color change. Um, diluted bleach, you know, they'll say 50-50 bleach, 50 or 50 water. It just takes longer to dye and bleach out your clothes. And I feel it sits on there longer and therefore causing as much damage. But so what I do is there are a zillion ways to bleach clothes. You know, you can use a spray bottle, you can do a tie dye effect, but this is one that I just have used over and over. And I have a glove on my hand and I basically just stick my hand in here and I just kind of drizzle, drizzle the bleach. I feel like I can get it kind of controlled that way. Now I'll turn it over quickly. And the backside really needs bleach because it's kind of boring and, you know, not a lot of design or anything. So I'll probably give the back a little more than I do the front. You know, you can splatter it. And so I'll just wait a minute till it starts turning and maybe I'll see a spot that needs a little more. Let's see. I think I'm going to get a little more down on the skirt area. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this off and let you know how long, what it looks like, my desired color, and how long it took to get there. Okay, so it's only been about three minutes. And black is a lot of fun to bleach because you just never know what you're going to get. Sometimes it turns kind of red. Sometimes it turns orange. Sometimes it turns yellow. But this is what I have and I'm pretty happy with it. So before this sits on there too long, I'll go to my laundry room and I'm going to just rinse it in the sink in there. And then I'll just wash it on a regular cycle. I'll probably use cold water because I don't really want this to shrink much and just regular detergent.